Disruption just on Raven. On the greatest time in the world, Moon looking to flank around from the side, get a blink call if possible. And he's going to find one, but doesn't actually get the proper call. Slada pushed himself away with the blink dagger just fast enough that Moon will go down. Tinker's the man to find that kill, but they're looking for more. Miracle comboing up the big deafening blast, the double deafening blast. Sunder will save Raven, but it won't save the rest of his team. Yule Scepter spinning him round. He'll just keep hitting up. Is he ever going to hit the ground right now? The Skydiver Raven will finally drop. A double for Crick, a triple for Miracle. It's very hard for them to just straight up fight IGV still, even though they have a good chunk of damage. And Invoker, level 24. They are going for this, yeah, smoking up and going. I mean, but IGV are in a good position to hold it here as they'll jump forward. Mind control, looking to try and get a position for the ult. Will be Storm Hammer, but Tumalan just to destroy him with the Chrono, holding the Oracle back. They've lost GH in return. Wards are now dropped. Mind control does get popped in the pit. And IGV, they're not done yet. They're looking to chase for more up onto the high ground. Kuroki will hold back the Earth Spirit with the Shackle, but the Ghosts still go to work as Sakata takes them down. Matu and Miracle, the only two left alive on the side of Liquid. We'll find another. Can they get dogfights as well? Miracle starting to bring out the Miracle Show, cleaning up. They're actually messing up the definite blast timing there. But Matu will defuse off the Yule Scepter, get the kill at the end of it all. Miracle, can he save Matuma Man though? Nice it's looking walk. pretty grim. He's falling low. It's not enough to save him. That's going to be Matuma Man falling. Miracle, the last one alive. Can he really do anything about these two? He's still looking to play around with them. Paparazzi jumps forward, gets the Storm Hammer connection. Shiva's guard out in time from the Invoker. Miracle now He's turning, not looking towards Paparazzi, ready to go back in. Silenced up. I mean, it's a long ass duration on the silence. The Siphon attempted, but the Lincoln Sphere is there to block it. Set up again with the Meteor Country GH back in with the Echo Slam. They are going to get both of the cores. They'll take Sakata down, pop that Aegis. Shah's lighting forward, looking for dog fights. Does get the roll off. Miracle and GH, can they take Sakata down a second time? He's got the BKB. Silence there onto GH. GH surrounded. Kuroki coming back in. Sunstrike connects onto both. There's the AoE Deafening Blast. The right clicks fly up. Miracle, he is absolutely doing it here. He's uh -oh. taken down a second. He's not done yet. The BKB. He wears out. They will disarm Miracle, but he still continues to flow out with these invocations. Looking for more. Kuroki wraps around with the Hex, but the False Promise is there just in time for Super to give Sakata a second chance. The Ghost back up, bringing Kuro down low. Inja lies there on the high ground with the Flame Break. Will get Kuroki. Mind Control's out. Miracle still around, though. He wants to go back in. He gets Vision just in time onto Super. Shiva's guard connects. There's the Sunstrike. Bam! Miracle does it. Takes down another. Mega kill streak at the moment for Miracle. Oh going my God. absolutely ham here. The Miracle shot. It really is turning into it. He'll TP out. Put his hands in the air for the applause that he'll be getting from the crowd. Yeah, I don't know if they really wanted to commit into a Tier 1 either. So, But yeah, maybe a slight little mistake there from Kaka. Nine. Ooh, tornado oh! 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 Beautiful combo. So they got okay, telescope as well. So now Kuro gives him bonus attack range. He has uh -huh. basically permanent double base damage. Oh, right Cinder now. man. We got the arena. Socks are looking to be dead at the start of the fight. But the RP from Seth comes on the silent. But the BKB already cut by LW. There's the buyback now from Sox as the egg forces everybody out. Seb on the run, BKB no more. Seeing power off just before. Now Miracle, like some pressure to no tail. As it, this fight is very segregated. Swap on the ILTW. Still has a stunner, but there's a Terra. Do they have the damage to actually burst through? But the stun ray coming through as well. Try and heal as much as he can. But Sox with the Bedlam, that is enough. Terrorblade is dead. Does have buyback though. It's going to cost some mail though. He's not careful. Trying to heal through this stun ray, but it's not going to happen. A triple kill for Miracle as he is just going ham right now. Fully healthy as well. With that spell prism in his inventory, Soxa gets off the Yules for now. Seb on the sideline. He cannot do anything with this cold snap spirit vessel combination. Ultra kill for Miracle. He's looking for more, but now he's a little bit low. Soxa gets off the shadow run, but Miracle's gonna live for now. Looks like he's gonna be okay. Looking for no tail on the sideline now. Goes up to the high ground. He wants his Rampage Cinder Man. I don't know if it's too late. He gets it. Rampage for freaking Miracle. He's now inside the arena. The triple meatball surprise as Sumail has to wait for him to safety. Only he and Hoodwink are alive. But maybe not for long. This could be a dieback on the Topson. And it is just that. A double Rampage for Miracle. And that might be it for game one. Holy jeez. It's just a, it's a rough game for EG. As soon as they took those those mid-game team fights and lost the Roshans, like, it's really that fight at Roche. It's 
most of the time in this meta, you're going to be losing games at Roche or at Towers. Ooh. That's the beauty of Versa. You don't have to commit very hard. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Three of them. We're going to see Sumail oh, going on the back line. That's four gets his BKB out, but it's not going to matter. Miracle is just styling on him right now. That's going to be three quick kills. Arteez is going to buy back. Looks like S4 wants to get GH, but you're not even going to get him. It's just a massacre Dude. by the Dire Shrine. And just like the dinosaurs, a big ass meteor oh. renders all of evil geniuses extinct. Arteez buys back. Tips to Miracle. And yeah, they just turn it there. Hope not required. Oh, GH. He's a little try for the TP, but there's no way that's going to happen in time. In fact, buying back straight away. It looks like Liquid want to make sure that they can have a chance of finding LGD around the pit. As LGD there into Roche, three buybacks, in fact, coming out from Liquid. They really want to try and put a stop to this. Miracle gets the BKB out in time before the stun comes through from X Nova. X Nova being chased down here by the right clicks. He will fall. These three buybacks from Liquid fully going in on this focus around the Roche pit, but the ghosts are out. Can Liquid really take? Take this fight, Somnus, you'll stop into the air, we'll be able to buy time for himself, but there's the combo from Miracle, from the sidelines, they've got the silence here, onto the PL, they're chasing him now, can they finish up Arme? Yes, they can, triple kill for Miracle, Arme will buy back on LGD, the liquid. Yeah, we are going to have EG going aggressive, so... Looking towards that top lane, but in response, Liquid will change their lanes up there. They're going to make sure that the Bristleback's up there to tank the tri lane and uh -oh. have Matumba farming down on the bottom. He didn't hit the range creep. In fact, now, GH, he's going to get the courier. Is it, he just walks in and he just gives it a whack. And in fact, Samel may be in trouble as well. He's been cornered off by the Fisher, walks into the Sun Strike as Miracle beautifully predicts his movement. Uh, and that mid lane. What? is not off to a great start. Well, that may be a bit of an understatement, Ben. What? For some ale. Damn, that sun strike. Does Matuba Man have buffs? We're going to give it a Oh, they're coming in. They're surged. He does now. He's he just buys them. Okay. Here we go. They're going to try to take this fight from the outside. It looks like smoked up. Matuba Man TP's in. They have to know something's up. Get ready. Yo, Here comes low. the stream as he's going to roll it. Mugi, though, just pops it right away. They're just going to go in for the kill. Is it on the backside? Oh, look at who's he going to find? He's actually going to find the Ursa. But he's just going to ult you out with the Aghanims now. They're going to look for my control. He goes down first. Miracle, he's going to pop his refresher. Will it do anything? It's doing a little bit of damage to the life still, but it's enough. That's going to be Mugi. Rapier down. Down. That's the rapier down. They're going to try to chase the Dazzle as well. They're going to find him. That's a huge team fight. They're going to look for the Elder Titan as well on the backside. GH is running away. There goes Elder Titan. Rapier's still sitting there. And it is. And he's coming back. He's come. Oh my god. He's yeah, yeah, he gets oh, he he his rapier. And he gets out. He got hacked. Well, he for got now hacked. he is hacked, but he's still alive. And he is still. Now he's stunned. Are they going to find him? A tough man just right clicking. Oh, it looks like he dies again. Oh the Rapier bait. <laughs> what a play by the Radiant. Now they're going to roll for GH barely misses. They're going to go and oops, sheeps him into it. And now I just don't know if they have the damage, though. They're going to try to. GH will go down. But there goes Waxy as well. He doesn't have buyback as well. It is going to be a 3v5 with only one tier. And there goes Ah when he buys back. But I'm sorry, boys. A great fight from Newbie, boys. That was a hell of a game from Newbies. A pulled up way more of a fight than I expected. Actually played incredibly well in both of the games. We've seen them now. Here, cool. He knows the game's over, but he will just hit him with the right click. Fatal bombs doing a little bit of damage as well. BKB's pop. They're trying to defend. No one's doing damage right now except this Bubba Man. But it looks like that's all they're going to need. And this game is in the book, to my friend. Yeah, that definitely. Was game. That was fun. That was a I think, uh, game. like, going back, I mean, it's, it was a long game. Those Fury Swipes. He had 24 stacks, hitting for an extra 500 damage with his ult. Or, sorry, excuse me. Uh, 900 damage with his that's ult. So it's a lot. A lot. Of damage. It yes. is a lot, yeah. It's just, that's why I was like, you can't commit, because you got to assume the worst is going to happen, right? Or no, you just play balls to the wall. He got bashed on first hit from Roche after he ulted. I think that's, that's worse than So are you saying that it was a misplay, or do you think he just got a... Oh, oh my God. Miracle Kobe. God. The miracle God is just playing out his mind, but middle lane, no, Sumail does a little dance. Believe the rolling. the Meteor is going to hit, but he won't run over it. Yet. Meanwhile, can he live? Crit's coming in. Will it be a time? I don't think it will. It won't be. And now, we is here. In trouble, yeah. Crit's gonna go down as well from a save to missing it to a double kill. Miracle takes a lot of damage, but he's juggling the orbs on him, dude. Radiant and they smoke on top of a dire ward. It's understandable, he's a scary guy, but that's two ults committed for the Scarif Mage and Arme. Some sanking on sanking action as he goes in with the Burrow Strike onto GH. Not quite enough damage to burst him down. And GH, in fact, he's able to blink down and set up for a kill with the Sun Strike as the burst comes through. They will get X over, but he gets on this. Two man shackle shot, controls there. It will get cancelled straight away as Arme comes forward with the two man Burrow Strike. They're trying to turn this one around here by the Shrine. LGD, can they chase down any members of Liquid? Liquid, they 
do have the numbers. Miracle actually coming in from the side. He's able to finish off Somnus. Again, another very big pick off here. Liquid, can they get more out of this? TP coming in towards the Shrine. They're fighting in a very risky position, Liquid. But Superman getting focused towards. He's got some timing here with the Invis. Trying to get himself out of this. But Miracle, he's continuing to find these kills. He's got a triple kill. Can he get more out of this? He's punching into this nice duck. He's got a lot of resistance with the Chris and It's not a lot. This Miracle with the Ultra Kill. They're looking at Wartime. Can they win? Really fight yet a fifth out of this Miracle? It's incredibly low. They'll turn with the new Kame trying to bring down Miracle. But Miracle, he carries on. They're looking to try and set up for the rap eight. They want to give it to him. I don't know if it's going to be soon enough. He moves in and he gets oh. it. Miracle with the 20 minute rap eight against all odds. Fighting LGD around their shrine. Liquid. I feel like this is the liquid that people have sort of been waiting to see in these games against LGD. These are the sort of plays. Yeah, let's get it. We want to see that the, the combos. I mean, Elias. Oh, look at the jump. Can they take it down once? Oh, they can. They can't believe that was sort of the range bash from the dagger there, setting him up to, to stop him from being able to jump away. So that's, that's the age is gone. That's a start for Elias. Gitch. Put the jump in on him. Oh, Chrono's down. There's the Cataclysm, the double Cataclysm coming out. They don't stand the chance. They don't stand the chance. As Nico Baby and FNG just get blown up by the combo. And there it is. GG is called. He was in position. He could have saved either Mind Control in bottom, Miracle in mid. And I feel like he hasn't been that effective on this Oracle so far. He got given the safe lane for a while to get his fast level six, and he hasn't been able to use that at all. Uh, he's getting some deep wards down, but he can't just get wards down. He needs to do more. Oh. Okay. Great, great. A little play from Miracle again. That they could take away the gem on the Dark Willow, take Roshan for themselves. Oh, and then that Ursa lineup runs out of steam. Nightfall moving in, breaks the smoke. Hot to be there. Going out, they got the vision. My control's gonna go for DM. Once no, again, the finger of death, the same combo. They killed them before, we'll kill them now. Kingslayer is out. They do have the ice blast. That's going out, but it's a whole dead girl. So man, do you start PNG? He turns it right back around, but at the same time, the Ursa managed to dodge that one. GP gave with his BKB out, didn't take any damage during that time. Oh, He's hunting out Miracle in the trees right now. Miracle hiding away, oh. hoping that he isn't found. Throws out the deafening blast. They see him now. The terrorize goes out. Save. He's moving into position to try and catch out the Invoker, but he's into a creep wave. They do have their Shadow Bomb. Can he put out enough damage? The Impale looking to be able to stop him. GPK's after him. And in the last oh, shot, he blinks away from him. He manages to get out. Meanwhile, ILTW has killed the Ursa. There's nothing left on the Verdes Pro side. That's one, two, three, four, and a five man down from Verdes Pro. Nigma In play to see if they can turn this game around despite the fact that ILTW has an Aegis. And alt. GPK. They're gonna break oh, in. Mind control fights the initiation first with a double cataclysm right against that. Ooh. GPK down. Kingslayer dead as well. An RP that was stolen earlier by GH for style points to be able to kill DM. That utter wow. trouncing. Vernus Pro just got worked by Nigma. I am not sure as we watch save go down as well. How you're supposed to team fight. And neither team ready with the ability to walk into Roche. Gotta take a fight beforehand. Smoke by EG. LTW breaks it instantly. Another he's he's just yeah, in. Gen rune on the storm. He's just running into them. I mean, he knows how strong he is. RTW here, crit over to the side. We'll nice be able to set up with a two man start and then get the jump straight away. Oh, the miracle. Miracle's getting burst down. That miracle. He's able to step outside. The cataclysm comes crashing oh. down. It's a clean up here from RTW and Miracle as it's a triple kill on the Luna. They get the combos off. They could not quite burst Miracle as Nigma now head over towards Ice Ice Ice. They've got the vessel down upon him. Four kills for Nigma. They only lose GH, who is immediately buying back to return to the rest of the team to, to go to this Roshan. He's six slotted at 34 minutes. Oh, time to go for the high ground. Oh, jump in straight away. Monstro getting aggressive, but Arthur's going to be able to counterplay there. Able to blow up Monstro. The Cataclysm comes down. Creed just gets burned in position. Turn it over towards Fly as well. Oh my goodness. Easy kills for RTW. And they take down the two of them. Arved trying to disrupt the push here from Nigma, but RTW, he's got no reason to back off. The tower's the gone. Nigma, they'll look to claim the Megas. RTZ just dying to the Glaives here at the side. He's trying to push back RTW. He can't do anything at all. RTZ's got to run. He's got no fight to be had here. Arbed's taken out. Nigma, they're ready to close this one up. Over to the tier fours. There really seems to be nothing. Nothing whatsoever that EG can do here. So Arteezy will try some cute plays with the bubble, but they'll, they'll tap out indeed. GG, it's called as Nigma.
This gets you. This this was the enigma that we expected to see. This is the stuff. Damn right. That's been winning them game after game. Here. He's only got one remnant now on FN. He ended up having to expend two there. Ooh, Rezo, be careful there. Oh, he goes for GH actually. In the meantime, the jewel that is Kuroki down as well. That is two dead on the side of Liquid. They do get the ages though. Mind control getting chased down by Roger, but Roger himself getting taken down by Matuma Man. Unstoppable for him. Tornado Miracle back in this fight. He's got that ages. He's feeling confident and he goes for FN. That was his final remnant. Is there an escape for him? Nice oh, tap. Blast up on three. The perfect angle for Miracle. Double kill for Matuma Man. And Miposhka is just right to run an iron, but he's just a pure poor little old lich. This is what we're talking about. Like, it's the invoker, you know? It's. Oh, hello, Rezo. He does not. He's dead. Yeah, he's Regardless dead. of him getting a kill. There's no shrine. He's like, oh god. Oh, where's he going? What's he doing? And what? Team one. Well, the TI champs sure do seem to like these miners. And they get the courier too. <laughs> As uh, they're looking for another swift victory here for some more qualifying points. Yeah, they're. Uh... They're getting in position for the GG potentially, or he has to blink away, but Lanham again, he just cannot withstand Matumba Man when he's got that rage up. Luckily, won't fall, not yet anyway. Dream Coil on the two, maybe they can find something here. They'll break the coil immediately on both of these here. The skewer back in there looking for Miracle. He's in trouble, shackled up. There's going to be the turnaround coming in from Kuro with the ultimate, but still, he's alive somehow. The deafening blast coming in, the meatball drop down. Everybody getting cleaned up by VG. They're just not strong enough at this point. They've already lost the anti-mage. Young Eleven is going to be next, and Lanham, double kill coming in. They've got the detection, they've got the kill, they've got the GG and Team Liquid are your Dota Pip Minor champions.